Hey guys, and uh, today I've got for you a tips and tricks video for iPhone 3GS users. Um, I know some of these tips work on literally all devices and um, some only work on the 3GS and I don't know about the iPhone 4 um, but I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so um, something that a lot of people always wanted to know is how, as you can see, my battery, if it'll focus for you, is actually a percentage. Now, I know you can get this when you actually jailbreak your device, but mine isn't jailbroken, um, and I'm going to show you how to get it on without jailbreaking. So you're going to have to head to your settings app, you go down to general, you click on usage, and then you see this little box here that says battery percentage, you just push that from the usual off position to on, and it's as simple as that. Um, another thing that people um, often get quite annoyed about is when they're typing on their iPhone or iPod, they tend to find that they'll, they'll, type, they'll try to type a word and the iPhone or iPod will automatically correct them. Once again in the settings app from the top, you go down to general, then you go down to keyboard and you see these options here, auto capitalization, I don't like that on, I do like the auto correction but you can simply turn it off, check spelling, on or off, enable caps lock, on or off, and then the shortcut where you double tap the space bar for a full stop, you can turn that off, because I really don't like that at all. Okay, um, some another tip is um, for your Safari. A lot of people have complaints about Safari, saying that it runs quite slow, and um, it's just not, not performing the way it should, so you head from your settings once more, you scroll down past general to Safari, and then if you scroll down you can clear your history, cookies and your cache which should optimise and hopefully speed up your Safari browser. Okay, um, and finally the tip that I find that most people don't know about and comes in handy so much and it's only for iPhone is turning off your voicemail. Somebody was ringing you may leave you a message and then to listen to it on my carrier O2 UK anyway you have to pay to actually retrieve and listen to a voicemail message which is just scandalous so to turn it off you head to your phone and then you go on your dial pad and you enter hash zero zero four hash you hit call and you see the uh, the spin wheel that, that it's loading it'll say that its deactivation has succeeded and you just simply dismiss that and to enable it again you simply put in star 004 hash and call it and that will enable it once more um, I find that tip very helpful because I really really don't like my voicemail being on um, because I d I, whenever someone leaves me a message it's always so tempting to listen to it and know who's called you but it costs so when you deactivate it your phone rings for about 45 to 60 seconds whereas before it would only ring for about 15-20 seconds so uh, that's about it guys, thanks for watching and above all, peace.